Good morning. I just finished doing my makeup. I'm just getting ready for the day. It's Saturday today. And I thought it would be fun to chat and do my hair. I just had it cut, which you probably just watched. And I love this haircut, actually. And it's still styled a bit. I actually don't think I really need to do anything to show you. I just brushed it out. Maybe I'll just do a little bit, just to add a little more interest. My hair is fine hair, and I have a lot of hair. It's like thick, fine hair, so it's challenging to hold a curl. This morning, I went on a jog. My personal trainer is away this week, so I went jogging, and to be honest, I'm not you know, don't have the best stamina when jogging, but I did 3.5 kilometers, which probably some people are gonna like laugh at, but anyway, I did 3.5 kilometers and then went to Starbucks. And then I have dinner tonight with two of my friends. If you don't use the Starbucks ad, um, Starbucks app, sorry. So many people I talk to are, don't go to Starbucks, they don't like the drinks or they just don't know what to order because there's so many there's so many good options but I get overwhelmed when I go into the store you like 10 minutes to decide what you want and for a long time I just ordered lattes from Starbucks because the options were kind of overwhelming anyway so since I've downloaded the app I love it because then I get to customize everything Sometimes when I go in, I just feel really high maintenance when I have to go up to someone and order. I really prefer just ordering on the app. And also, I want to say something. I go to this, the same Starbucks all the time. I go to the, a few I cycle, but they know me there. And it actually makes me feel uncomfortable having conversations with people who know me. Like when I lose my anonymity anonymity going to establishments it kind of stresses me out sometimes small talk and social niceties actually just give me anxiety and then they they're like i don't know sometimes just having like a conference once you once you create a relationship and this banter or conversing you can never go back i think that's why it stresses me out same with neighbors you can't go back so once you have become like friendly overly friendly with a neighbor or coffee shop employee that you see regularly regularly you can't go back and i understand for some people they really enjoy that and i think that's great i just get really a lot of it gives me anxiety like the the thought of becoming too close with neighbors like if I see them I might say hi I might not but then it's awkward right because then you almost have to once you become too friendly you almost like have to make sure they see you to say hi like they'll be taking their their I'll be taking my groceries out of the car and they'll have to be like they'll have to like stop me <laughs> they'll have to go out of their way to say hi because now we've created this weird routine <laughs> Then I just seem rude if I stop doing it. Like once you do it, you can't not do it. And some days you just really like, some days you're just not in the mood to be that social. And I just like keeping things more casual based. So anyway, I download the Starbucks app. So every day I order my drink, like five minutes before I plan on being at Starbucks. And then I just walk in, it's ready to be picked up. I walk in, I say, great, thank you. And they say, oh, Elle, I've got your order. I say, great. And <laughs> we like both go on our way. And it's not this big production. I'm not asking them about how their job application went. And they're not asking me about like the restaurant I went to. I wonder if I should put like a little bit more in because they will fall a bit more. I just love that there's a little movement. And this took me, oh my God. Look at 
looks so good, I think. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments. Okay, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna unplug this. Okay, we're gonna move over to the other room. So I'll see you in a minute. I'm in my other bathroom. This is actually the bathroom, my main bathroom, but it's still under construction a little bit. And all of our plugs are not finished in here, so I can't actually do my hair in here right now. But I wanted to share a few things that I picked up. So I'll just set this down here. Okay, so I picked up the, I was talking about this in my last video. It's the Jo Malone Honeysuckle and Devana, I believe it is. hopefully saying that right smells so good I think it might be a new scent I got this from my Nordstrom sales associate Emma and I think it's a new scent I think that's what she said on the phone she had sent me I should just like cover up with it I think okay <laughs> Anyway, so she had sent me a sample of it that I was absolutely in love with, so I had to get it. And I got a few other really fun little things. She actually always, I'm gonna just bend down a little bit here because I have a few things that I picked up. She's honestly the best. She's the best. She, I got a few new hand soaps too. I'm trying the, actually I wanna show, these are just testers, but they get me so, I love testers. I think mean, they're so fun. And okay, what else did I get? I also got this. This is the wood sage and sea salt hand soap. And um, a friend, a friend, sorry. I, I consider them a friend. But anyway, she really recommended it. She said she loves the smell and it's been a while since I've been, sorry. It's been a while since I've been in Nordstrom and I've smelt all the Jo Malone scents. So I honestly couldn't remember what scents I liked or didn't like from the past. So I thought I liked the, the sorry, I thought I liked the Wood Sage and Sea Salt. I don't like it as much as right now I have English Pear throughout the house because the, I think that was the only one. I wanted all the scents the same, my candles, the room fragrance, the hand soaps, and the English pear was the only one that was available in all of those scents. So I right now that's what I have throughout my house. I really like it. And it makes me feel really special every, every time I wash my hands. This one, this scent just doesn't make me feel quite as special. I think it's a lovely scent maybe for a room or your body. It just for the hands, I feel like it smells just like other soaps. So anyway, okay. I want to open this tester bag because I kind of looked at it a little bit. Oh, I'm getting caught. Okay. I kind of looked at the tester bag a little bit and it got me honestly so excited. So it's so cute. She's okay. She's honestly the best. I think I just have to cover up. I'm back. I just have to readjust this robe. It was doing a lot of awkward things. Okay, I really want to open up this little bag. I know this is just a tester bag, but it's actually so cute. <laughs> so cute and special. And probably, I sometimes I get more excited about testers than I do about like actual purchases. Okay, wait, I'm opening it all up without you. Okay. But the tester is like a little bonus gift. So <laughs> It's like something free that I didn't even have to buy and it's always something kind of like a nice little cheery thing. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this down here. Okay, so first out of our tester bag, maybe I'll hold it, I think I can't reach the right angle. Is that better? I'm hunched over, but that's okay. Okay, so first out of our tester bag is the Nectarine Blossom and Honey Body and Hand Lotion, which I love this scent. My ex-boyfriend's mom got me this scent on my birthday years ago, so it's always been really special to me. And another one, so I really look forward to those. Ooh, okay, this was, she hooked, Emma hooked it up. She hooked it up. 
Look at how awesome this is. So this is the peony and blush. And this is a whole cologne tester. Look at how awesome that is. That's so nice. So nice for holidays. And I actually love these little testers. My, I have a fragrance wall that's not quite finished in the washroom. It's supposed to have clear glass over it. And so I'm excited. The different sizes can look really nice in that. And this is, oh, it's just so nice. This is so nice. Okay, this is the English Pear and Freesia Body Cream. And look how big this is. Like these are huge testers. Okay, and then our last and final little tester is a Wood Sage and Sea Salt Body and Hand Wash, which I'll love. These are perfect because when I travel, I tend to just book last minute trips. So it's actually perfect when I have little testers because then I just throw them all in like a bag. And if I just have a carry on, then I don't get like, they don't start taking my things away from me. <laughs> okay, amazing. Okay, so that's my our little tester pile. Yay. Okay, Ooh, oh my God. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna stop the camera for a minute. I do have to get dressed. I'm gonna stop the camera for a minute. I have a few other things I wanna share and a few things I wanna try on that I'm 80% sure I like, but I'm on the fence on a few little things. So we're gonna try some stuff on. Okay, so <laughs> I've got everything here. Maybe I'll just duck down here. I need to put my phone up. It's just when I put it up here, it's a little too high. And I used to have, oh my God, I can't think now. I used to have like, or I still do, I have a bunch of filming equipment because I really enjoy photography sometimes. Like I'm not very good at it, but I enjoy it. <laughs> anyway, I have that. I also had a ring light, I still kind of do. This was just a sample. This is from Well People. I have I use their product on my eyebrows, which like I'm not showing off necessarily. In fact, if you like, I like it. I don't have the best eyebrows though, so it doesn't really matter what I use. because I also have poor technique. And anyway, so if you have recommendation for eyebrow products, let me know. I just don't. I don't enjoy studying the art of doing makeup, really. I find it doesn't, it just never really looks that good on me, so I don't, it's not something that I aspire to. Anyway, this was a sample, it's from Well People, <laughs> and det I went to Detox Market a few days ago. Anyway, this was the sample I got from Detox Market. And I always put my lipstick. This looks kind of crazy. Okay. I always just put my lipstick around my lip rather than right on my lip because what if I do my lipstick right on my lip, like the whole lip, sometimes I find it is too much. But actually, I kind of like this color. I think it looks kind of nice. It's a little, I think this is like as dark as. My face, my features will allow any darker and sometimes I look not very good. It, I don't know what it is. I think it just, but anyway, I like this color. It's very pretty. So let me just see what color this actually is in case anyone's interested. So this is the Well People. Why is this not working? Okay, whatever. I'm gonna, <laughs> so I'll just read this. So in case you're interested in the lipstick, this is the Optimist lipstick in choose love shade number two in case you want it there <laughs> is another english pear hand soap i absolutely love them i can't help it i love joe malone's hand soaps makes me happy every moment of the day that i use them i know it's like kind of not but good of value. I don't know. It depends who you ask. I think it's really worth the value. 
because I really like washing my hands with it. <laughs> and actually, now it's a little camera stand too. Okay, let's look at some clothes that we got here. I feel like I need to make sure my hands are very clean. I've already seen this outfit, but I left it on the floor. <laughs> Okay, my little trick is I always use a silk scarf. I put it on before slipping things over. <laughs> I probably look like a ghost or something. <laughs> anyway, it keeps the clothes fresh so they don't get all mucky. I do it for my clothes and then I also do it for clothes that I'm, if I'm trying them on and I'm not sure if I wanna keep them. Monaco, sorry, from Club Monaco, these are the lounge pant in a size small and they retail for $198 and they're a little wrinkly. Okay. I really like this outfit for every day. This is a cashmere cami and I like these. They obviously need to be steamed. Sorry, do you worry about the wrinkles? And I haven't checked what material these are, if it's a natural material, probably want to keep them, but if it's an unnatural material, then I'm probably less inclined because if I'm gonna wear an unnatural material, I'll just get one that doesn't wrinkle. Usually natural materials like silk and things wrinkle a lot more, and I don't usually mind because it's part of the experience and the look of silk, like I just, like, the wrinkles will drive you insane unless you just acknowledge that it's part of the experience of the fabric and almost like a beautiful detail of the fabric. I'm going to spin back a bit. So I like these quite a bit, but I think I'm just going to think on this. Let me know what you think. I was picturing this more just for around the house. So I look like a little bit put together, but I don't know, let me see. Oh, this looks untucked. It might look better untucked actually. Like it's very matronly. I look a little bit older than I probably should, but I also really like it. Okay, I actually really like this the more I've been wearing it. And I think I like it just with this little French tuck. <laughs> okay, this shirt I was torn on in the store. And I don't think this is quite the right look for it. I was thinking of this more with jeans. This is a top from Club Monaco. It's not real silk, which is kind of a plus because I feel like tops what like this. Uh, sateen. Could be a blend. I think it's a blend. <laughs> anyway, this top's not real silk. It's a blend, which is sometimes a good thing because then it doesn't wrinkle. But if it wrinkles, it's no good because the only good thing about a fake or a non unnatural fiber is that it doesn't wrinkle and if it this wrinkles then i don't know what its purpose is i think this looks quite nice it's a little bit long okay i'm running late this is one of my very favorite dresses it is very frock like but it's so comfortable and sweet and I didn't style any of it because I'm running late. <laughs> okay, I'm struggling here and the mirror's a little dirty, but that's beside the point. Maybe I just step back a little bit. I feel like I have, no I feel like I have nothing to wear to dinner and this dress is showing up kind of yellowy, but it's like a peachy... It's like more of a peach color. I don't know really why it's showing up like kind of yellow on camera, but I'm kind of struggling a bit. It's a little bit chilly out, but I just wanted something kind of like fun and playful and summery. 
and I don't know. I'm wearing this. These these are some of my favorite shoes. They're so cute. I love them, but I don't think this is it. I don't know. Okay, this dress is really not working. And I actually think I might wear the outfit I tried on earlier. I think I'm gonna go with this, but I have to give these a stain. Okay. I'm going crazy. I don't know what I'm going to wear. And I realized because it's kind of cold tonight and I wasn't finding anything. And then I remembered all of my autumn stuff I have over in another closet. So I brought over a few things and now I just have to go get my jeans and quit this top. And while I'm looking for those jeans, I discovered something really disappointing. I had ordered this tracksuit. And I ordered these pair of pants to be delivered, if you remember from one of my videos. And I'm just looking at them side by side. I obviously haven't had a chance to wear them yet, but I'm like, I'm about to bring them over here. I'm gonna bring them over to the counter. One second. Okay, I just want everyone. The fuck is that? Oh my God. Like pen on this hood okay i honestly like i always feel tricked when i shove it in like surprise surprise okay but like just look at this they're two different colors this isn't my imagination they're two different colors like i hope you can tell from this video right those are two different colors those are not the same color they're thinking and they're both the same they both say okay anyway both the colors on these pants both say dusty mauve like that is gd dusty mauve mauve gd and this is are these both the same company yeah okay they're both tna i like i keep thinking i'm going insane but again like look okay this says gd dusty mauve Vo Mauve Go GD or something, and this also says Dusty Mauve, like, but they're two completely different colors. I'm gonna try it on tomorrow. I really don't have time, it's actually really super late. It's very late. Okay, is this basic? I ran out of options. Also, obsessed with this turtleneck, it's so easy to throw on, and Maybe a leather jacket, maybe a blazer. <laughs> I give up. I'm so, I'm so scared. Sorry. I'm scared right now. It started to break. People are like squabbling. Freaking out. It's fine. And honestly, the view just got a lot better here. So.
so good. Look at how gorgeous these are. I feel like I need to move them. These are so These might be the most beautiful flowers. Uh, look at those beautiful details. <laughs>